Hi, Kathy here again. I'm going to talk about some more acronyms that you can see in English. All of these have to do with your studies. So if you're studying at the university, these are the possible, some of the possible things that you can get or can become. We would say that you have a BA or a BS. A BA means that you have a Bachelor of Arts degree, okay, or a BS is a Bachelor of Science degree, okay? If you study, this is for four years, when you study for four years. If you study more, usually two more years, you can get an MA or a master's degree, all right, Master of Arts, or an MBA maybe, a Master of Business Administration. There are many possibilities actually, okay? Let's say you're very hard, you like to really study, you can go on and you can get a PhD, okay? PhD is a doctor of philosophy, and we usually say, I have a, he has a PhD in, for example, sociology. He's a doctor of philosophy in sociology, all right? So, notice, we say you have a degree, so you have a BA, or you have a bachelor's degree. You have a master's degree. We don't usually say you have a PhD degree, you say you have a PhD in, and then you say specifically what it is, all right? Also, when you want to talk about what you're studying, you say, I am studying, or I, am stu I, I study a major. When you study a major, you're talking about a BA, maybe a BS. You don't say I have a career. That's when you're working. Okay, you say you have a major. Or you can study a master's, a master's degree. Or you can study a doctorate. All right? So these are some of the... Um, acronyms we use and these are some of the ways we use them.